I'm going to show you how to go in and find the IP address blocks for a company in case you would like to block that company from sending you email or if you'd like to use it as a whitelist or for any other information that you would like to know about that particular company and how they get out to the internet. So we're going to go to a website. It's bgp.he.net forward slash DNS forward slash bph-logistics.com. So while you are writing that down, I'll just go ahead and type in the name of a company that we would like to do a search on. In this particular case, we're going to go ahead and do a search on CyberBunker. They've been in the news a lot for sending out spam, allegedly, So we'll just or uh, hosting companies that do. So we'll just go ahead and click on Search and see what we've got. Now in this list, we see a several uh, blocks that they use for hosting their websites and whatever else it is that they do. So we may want to find out additional information such as where they are located. So we're going to go ahead and copy this particular block. And one of the places we can go to is the American Registry for Internet Numbers, which is Aaron.net. Now Aaron allows us to do a who is search on an IP address just to confirm that that really is owned by CyberBunker and where they are. So we'll go ahead and click on search, click continue, and it says that uh, Aaron is not the one that has this IP address, that this is in the uh, area of RIPE. So we're going to want to go to RIPE.net. And in RIPE.net, make sure you click over in the RIPE database, not at the uh, link at the top. So we're going to go ahead and put in the subnet block we just had, and we'll click search. And here we show the information about the subnet that we just looked at, and certainly it is owned by CyberBunker. And if we want to know additional information about them, we can click on the different links that shows up. Shows us that uh, the address shows us additional information, postmaster, that kind of thing. So there's lots of different things we can click on, different links that um, we may want to know. And if you need to go back to the original link, then you can go and block all these IP addresses should you choose to do so, or look up another company just by clicking on the search.